has been a good week for Harlem. Spider-Man stopped the tinkerer, Rio Morales was elected to city council, Roxanne Plaza is closed for good, and Simon Krieger is in jail. Boo! Ha! Bonus, I passed my citizenship test with flying colors! Still love you, China. Gonna miss your candy. Okay, back to business. In an attempt to save face, Roxanne's board released all of Krieger's personal documents. Memos, emails, real fun stuff. I'm coming through those docs, and uh, when you J E Crow on air, I'll be playing unreleased, pre-recorded casts. Fresh material coming in a few weeks, and in the meantime, remember to sing to your plants while you water them. Seriously, they love it. Okay, bye, see you soon. Killed the hack. Listeners, you all know that I pride myself on truth, integrity, and facts. I've been tough on this new Spider-Man since the disaster on Braithwaite Bridge. For good reason. The kid screwed things up so bad, even the original model would have blushed redder than his costume. The classic one, not that ugly new thing. But today, I must also acknowledge that the city is rallying around this youngster and proclaiming him uh, a hero. <sighs> With an unstable energy source on the verge of wiping Harlem off the map, this youthful spider reportedly stepped in and saved lives. Or at least that's what his supporters want us to think. The real truth is that none of this would have happened if he hadn't donned a ridiculous suit and started swinging willy-nilly around the city, performing reckless acts of violence. Hero? More like zero? Ha! Jared, open up the lines. I want to hear from those who agree with me. Jared, I said open up the lines. What do you mean they're open? Well, something must be wrong. Folks, we're having technical difficulties. Please sample. Hey, bro. I read MJ's front pager about some Karia. Not while you were swinging, I hope. Uh... Sorry. Scolding mentor mode, downshifting. What did you think of the article? The article was great. The pictures? Eh. Where'd they get this Peter Parker guy? <laughs> I'm sure MJ asks herself that all the time. So how was the trip? Did you have the pseudo while you were out there? Nah. Sable handled it like a champ. Her and her wild pack. I mostly got to stand around taking pictures. Sounds like a nice break. As much as a work trip can be. Oh, yeah. I'm feeling refreshed and ready to do some next-level spider manning And clean out the gutters at my house. <laughs> Being a homeowner is glamorous, let me tell you. Sounds like it. I'll let you go. Talk soon. Hey, Miles. This combat challenge is all about the art of the dodge. Defeat the enemies while taking as little damage as possible. Three hits, and you'll have to restart. Step into the circle when you're ready. Good luck. Time to dodge. Dang, man. Pete's not messing around. Let's practice the perfect dodge. Try dodging at the last possible moment. Incoming. Watch out for gunfire. Great start. More enemies incoming. That's a lot of guys. Heads up. Range enemies on the field. Last wave's up. We got this. More guys. All right. 
Let's do this. Try that out. Voicemail. Numbers blocked. Hey, Miles. I know you're gonna hear a lot about me. Things I've done. Now that I'm serving time. I cut a plea deal, so it shouldn't be more than two years. But getting out early, it's not why I gave up Krieger. You told me you had to be better. And that meant looking out for other people, even if it cost you something. I don't have a lot of practice, but I'm trying. Thanks, kid, for making me a better man that I could be on my own. Take care out there. Love you, Unc. On this very special episode, I'm joined by newly elected councilwoman Rio Morales of Parliament who has been instrumental in the effort to scale back Roxxon's expansion plans following the revelations that they endangered New Yorkers with their highly unstable energy source, Newform. Yeah. Welcome, Council. Thanks for having me, Mr. Jameson. I have to say, I was surprised when you reached out to my office. My producer, Jared, was insistent that we have you on. Something about needing to broaden our demographics, especially after your recent appearance on another much less popular show. Oh, yeah. Danica Hart was wonderful. My listeners would like to know, how do you plan to bring prosperity to your community? I think I speak for everyone when I say it's an area that has struggled for quite some time. True prosperity isn't brought in from outside by huge faceless corporations. It comes from sustained investment in the people that make our community so special. It's true that folks here have struggled, but that's only because they've lacked advocates in City Hall. I will be their voice. And my hope is with that support, the city and the world will see that we're a vibrant area full of brilliant artists, kind people, and now, even our very own Spider-Man. About that, you are now a publicly elected official. You are obligated to serve according to a constitution, law, and time-tested ethical requirements, which I'm sure you respect. How can you reconcile that responsibility with your support of a vigilante who isn't bound by any of the same safeguards? Spider-Man is not our enemy. He's a New Yorker like the rest of us, and he's just trying to do what's right. And if you ask me, he couldn't be doing a better job. That doesn't replace my obligations to my community, nor anyone else's who serves in a public role. But I do sleep easier every night knowing that he's out there, helping us all pick up the slack. I'm happy to spend all day arguing why that sleep could easily become a nightmare. But we're out of time. And your approval polls are very high. So I'll just say thank you, Councilwoman. Jared will be sending you some lovely parting gifts, including my J. Jonah Java, the decaf substitute doctors like mine are insisting they're patients of a certain age drink. If you down it fast, you almost believe it's real coffee. Jameson out. Hey, Miles, MJ's flying into JFK next Tuesday. You mind covering patrol for me? No problem. She's been gone a while, huh? You must be glad she's coming back. Yeah. I'm kind of surprised Sable let her go. MJ's profile opened by calling her cold, calculating, and humorless. Lavish praise in Simcaria. They're basically BFFs now. <laughs> now that's a cool team-up. Cool and slightly frightening. Okay, hit you up Tuesday. Bye. And thanks again. Friends, small businesses are the backbone of America. And they have no greater champion than J. Jonah James. But they have an enemy, too. Spider-Man. Apparently, he's been disrupted.
disrupting their supply chains in Harlem. Here to tell us about it is the proprietor of local restaurant Panabue. Buenvenidos, Camila. Eh, gracias, Senor Jameson, but there's been a misunderstanding. Spider-Man stopped the punks who were robbing us. I think your producer got confused. He kept wanting to talk to me in Spanish. Don't ask me why. Ugh, Jared's taking a course, which he's clearly gonna fail. But having a Spider-Man in your neighborhood, fighting criminals in the streets, that can't be good for business. Actually, it's great. We got tourists coming in, hoping to see him. And when something gets damaged, my husband fixes it. His name's Jesus. He's a contractor. His business is called Y'all Meet Jesus. Anything gets messed up, he's your guy. <laughs> Thank you. I think we can all use Jesus right about now. Especially Jared, as soon as we cut to commercial. I said cut to commercial. Take your medicine like a man. Capsule. It used to be a dump, but I'm glad they cleaned it up a little. <laughs> After seeing it in the Olympics, Finn got crazy good at table tennis in like a week. Her spin game was unreal. Could put the ball wherever she wanted. Girl is agile as heck. Hey, uh, is this Spider-Man? It's Dale, from the bodega. I hope this is an okay time to call. It's Dale, by the way, <laughs> from the bodega. Hey, Dale. What's up, man? Hey, listen, Spider-Man. My Spider-Man, you know, my cat, took a liking to you. Oh, yeah? I like him, too. Good cat. So, you know, I just wanted to say, if you wanted to come by and hang out with him sometime, or, like, take him for a walk or a swing or something, <laughs> you know, that, that'll be OK, is all I'm saying. For sure. I'd love to chill with him. Thanks, Tail. Oh, man, that's great. I love, I mean, he'd love that. <laughs> Gonna tell him now. You're a good one, Spider-Man. See you soon. Tail's great, man. Love that guy. Folks, the Feast Centers have had a rough go ever since their founder, Martin Lee, turned out to be the mad bomber known as Mr. Nate. But I believe in the Feast Centers, because I knew Nate. The brave woman who literally gave her life to keep them going. So I was distressed to hear the Harlem branch recently suffered a damaging flood. With us is Lori, director of that center. Yeah, thanks. Uh, anyone who wants to donate to the cleanup, check out our website. It's tax deductible. Wonderful. I'm donating 10% of my paycheck for this week. Half of Jared's. Now, I'm hearing Spider-Man may have been responsible for the flood. No way. Someone was responsible, but it wasn't Spider-Man. Follow the money. Who benefits from lower property values? And I'm going to stop you there, because we have a strict policy of not saying anything that will get me sued. Incidentally, I'm pretty sure Spider-Man can't afford lawyers. He wasn't Spider-Man. We're out of time. Thanks so much for joining us, Gloria. And remember, everyone, if you want to be a real hero, not like a certain masked man, Donate to Feast. Jared, cut her mic before I end up in the poor house. <laughs> oh, I think I know that guy. Maybe. Hey, good to see you. Been telling everyone how you saved Spider-Man. You ready to swing, Spider-Cat? You two look great. Get out there and stop some crimes, you two. I can't wait to hear what you get up to.
really need to sleep. Well, uh, your old TV is gone, but never forgotten. Just a quick nap. It's a clue for a scavenger hunt. Dad and I used to do these. Did she make a new one? I'm gonna check this out. See what Mom put together. Check it out of here. Check out the Natural History Museum. City Councilwoman Rio Morales. Has a nice ring to it. Scavenger hunt's not gonna hunt itself. I haven't been to the museum in forever. I think the last time was with Finn and Dad. Those trips are really fun. It's weird to think about now. Genki says a street artist named Haley's got a lead on the people messing with Harlem. It's like a party. Hey, are you Haley? <laughs> she can always request it in the app. Uh, Genki said you could help me find the guys messing with Harlem? You followed them? It's dangerous. And brave. Uh, I'll, I'll go there. Try to shut them down. Hey man, Haley told me where to find our criminal friends set up. Hoping I could shut down however they're communicating with their boss. I'll check nearby cell phone towers, do some network surveillance, see if I can figure it out so we can cut the connection. Yo, call you when I'm there. What? Found it. Finn was always checking out books before she finished her last ones. She even grabbed mine when I wasn't looking. Said it kept her brain sharp.
Whoa, where'd you come from? Actually, you take this! are definitely set up here. Gonna clear them out. See if I can shut down this whole operation. I'll be punching, Spider-Man. Talk to the big guy today. I'm supposed to hop on a call with them in a few. Not your fault the kid spider showed up and busted all our plans. All this guy cares about is results. But you've been with him for years. That's because I get results.
Now to get inside. Gotta be a way inside. Maybe those garage doors. That gear should miss the door. Not what I expected. There's gotta be more here. Footprints that vanish. Okay. Do not push button. I'm gonna push it. Whoa. Hey, pulled network data. Webcam calls to the raft are definitely coming from here. So cut the network connection, brick the computer, no more boss giving them orders. Exactly. The underground basement hideout where they planned all their takedown Harlem schemes. Cool, cool, cool. Even without pulling off the bank heist, their boss is loaded. These guys really don't care who gets hurt, as long as their boss gets what he wants. Ugh. Someone invested in a zoom lens. They're trying to find me. This is why Pete's always telling me to keep the mask on. I think I'll take this off their hands. Beast North, Caleb's Barbershop, the power plant, everywhere they've targeted. Money, land, control. This guy wants everything. Can you help me run a hybrid attack? Sure, but first try V-A-N-E-S-S-A. -S -S Vanessa? If this setup belongs to who I think it does... What is this? Who are you? Oh, crap. Fisk! A child playing dress-up, pretending to be Spider-Man. I can sever the connection from here. Just keep him talking. Fisk. I stop what you're doing in Harlem. You're done in my neighborhood. Your neighborhood? How touching. You'll learn that when you cross me, the people you want to protect are the ones who suffer. What did that mean? <sighs> I don't know. But we have to find out. I should head back to the park. Tell Haley I took care of these guys. Miles, Haley texted me. Fisk's guys are attacking CJ Walker Park. I thought I took them out. Some were scattered around the neighborhood. You gotta hurry, man. They're going after people at the party. Tell Haley I'm on my way.
away from my neighborhood. He's picking us off. Don't let him web you. about it. Doubt that. Bye, Haley. Hope to see you again. Is done in Harlem thanks to us, and don't say no miles thanks to you. <laughs> okay, you're right. We did it together. <sighs> How's it feel to be Harlem's friendly neighborhood Spider-Man? Not gonna lie, pretty good. Oh, almost forgot to tell you. Danica Hart heard what we've been up to. She wants me to come on her show. Oh, that's awesome. You nervous? <laughs> nervous? No, I mean... Oh, crap. What should I wear? I don't think it matters, since it's a podcast. No, but well, what if she can hear that I'm wearing sweatpants? What if she wants to hop on webcam? Oh, my God. I, I, I gotta get ready. Uh, bye. This one's of the Empire State Building. High atop the Empire State, you'll find a pair of blind eyes. There's a flash drive attached. Hey, big man. Happy birthday. Oh, my God. Man. Scavenger hunt seemed like a fun way to celebrate 16. Tour down memory lane. Remember that summer you and Finn forced me to take you to the museum every weekend? Here's a secret. I love those trips. Used to be I felt guilty you didn't have any siblings. Things with your uncle are tough now. But I would have never made it to 18 without you. 
Anytime I see you with Finn, I feel less guilty. You have a sister. Her. With Finn, and now Genki, you'll always have Finn in your life. Love you lots, big man. See you at the next club. Wow. I haven't heard his voice in so long. I hope he left more messages with the rest of the scavenger hunt. Hey, sleepyhead. Did you find my note? Yeah. I followed the clue and just heard dad. Did you do all this? Just the setup. Your dad made the clues last year. I know it's been tough since the move. Thought hearing from him could help. It does. Gracias, ma. De nada. Have fun with him. And remember, I'm here if you need me, Miles. You can tell me anything. Te quiero. Te quiero. I can't leave my stand. I don't care where you go. Just keep your mouth shut. This is for donating. Not feeling. Spider-Man saves the holidays. I can't believe Spider-Man saved me. I'm gonna tell everyone. Happy to help. Today, I want to address some rumors making the rounds of pool halls and sleazy bars. Supposedly, Wilson Fisk has been trying to destabilize Harlem in order to make it cheaper and easier for him to acquire property. All from behind bars! Now, you all know my distaste for conspiracy theories. If there's proof, I will be the first to condemn malfeasance. But until that happens, it is poisonous, irresponsible, and wrong to repeat such baseless and inflammatory claims. That's the kind of behavior I'd expect from someone like Spider-Man, who several people have told me enjoys a destabilized neighborhood himself because it creates more crime and thus more opportunities for him to make himself look good. So let's be careful what we say and stick to the facts. Okay, people? Jackpot. Oh, football league. I mentioned to Finn one time I was into soccer, and she went all impossible mission to steal this from an exhibition match for me. She'd do anything for her friends. Menace. Martin Art Museum in Greenwich. I remember that place. Find the fossil hiding among the modern. Don't forget to look up. Hmm. Fifth grade. Empire State Building. I chaperoned. <laughs> Never agreed to wrangle a bus full of 10 year olds, son. Took us three hours to get here, and when we did, who showed up? The webhead himself, battling Vulture. As soon as we stepped off the elevator, we had to turn right back around again and evacuate. Thing I remember most, though. You wanted to stay. Told me, Spider-Man needs our help, Dad. You're a born hero, Miles. Don't ever lose that fighting spirit. See you at the next clue. Next clue. Boom. Looks like I'm going to see ODBs. Where money is king, you'll find great tunes hanging among the lights. I had to practically drag you and Finn to the Modern Art Museum the first time you came. What do we care about splotchy paintings? But, your mom and I knew. We had to show you kids that there were different ways of looking at the world. Sometimes, radically different. When I saw you two in front of that psychedelic Angela Davis portrait, heads craned up and all, I knew you were. All that orange and gold. Don't think you ever realized the book looked that way. You. Like, Glad to be making it this far. Let's see how you do it the next time. Ben and I talked about that trip for months afterwards. Mom and Dad really knew how to inspire. A billboard's been taken over by the underground. I think there's more to it. Got you. We gave copies of our keys to each other so we could hang out more. Ended up just hiding messages in each other's rooms. Good news, friends. 
My sources say underground activity has subsided significantly, and the Tinker is officially presumed dead. We survived the storm of the century, and our wounds are healing. But New Yorkers must remain ever vigilant. This is the greatest city on Earth, which means there will always be lunatics trying to make a name for themselves by disrupting the tranquility of our daily life. One minute you're washing down a delicious everything bagel with a fresh cup of Pana Fuerte coffee, the next minute not one, but two masked menaces run by your window and you discover the hard way that scalding hot is great in the cup, but agony in your pants. Well, I for one pledge to continue rallying the public against such prices and anything worse that may yet come. After much reflection and serenity training, I am able to accept that there are now two... Two Spider-Man! Rest assured, I will continue holding them to the highest standard, and will be the first to call them out when they come up short. Which they will. Oh, that is my promise to you. And this is J. Jonah James, signing off. Until next time. All right, CODPs, let's hunt. Hanging among the lights. Hmm. Maybe it's between the lights and that speaker. Lobster Bills, Dad's favorite restaurant. Nestled beneath Stuyvesant, there's a monster of a good meal. I didn't have my youth at CODB's, the uncle. Every musician we loved played at this cramped little stage. Aaron even got up there once himself. Didn't do half bad, either. When he finally told me about his night job, this is where he took me, to soften the blow. He poisoned the place for me. Never took you here because of it. I regret that. You'd love it, just like I do. So, how about this? Find a show you want to see. Anything, my tree. Come out here and your old man will show you how I used to bust a move. <laughs> Next clue's all yours, Miles. Dad was gonna bring me to a show. Man. Ain't a minute after hearing that. I have fun with this one. I had a repeat client I always met here. Got real used to waiting, listening. Hearing this sound running on a tight schedule. A sound on a schedule? The fairy has to be. Need to get in close enough to record that horn. Fairy horns. That's right. The client I met here used to take the ferry over from Jersey. Work for him was good money, until he got busted. He's how your dad found out about the problem. Not that it was me, but that a thief was making it big in New York, and your dad volunteered for the case. I could feel him closing in. I had to try and guess which would be worse. I told him, but he caught me. That'd have been me. I... I don't know what I'd do. That can't be the only reason Dad cut him off. Not if he fessed up. This wasn't Dad. I swear I'm a good guy! I'm just misunderstood! There aren't many more escaped convicts on the streets.